I saw that song and I got very disappointed. Cause I was like, wait, I know what this is. This is my jam. And then I was like, oh, it's not. It's not the same song. It's my jam. It's, it's, co it's a cover. It's a cover of them singing the song. I was like, oh. Was There's so a music excited. video for it. They made a music video for a cover of somebody else's song from 2002. That's interesting. Okay. That's an interesting choice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about Augusty? Uh, what about him? His, I mean, his music was okay. I think I ended up You've liking You've already listened to it because you listened to his, his uh, You songs? listened to the D2 album, which is Moonlight, Dechta, uh, and stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest, I've, uh, I've been kind of sporadically adding songs to my liked uh, songs playlist here and there. There's been a few. That's not good. A, not a ton, but there's a few. It, it, was, it was a welcome surprise because I honestly didn't think there was going to be any or many. Uh, Raven, are you going to invite me to group? Yes, give me a second. Uh, I was trying so, to check something. Jamar, do you have like a standout favorite one that like pops in your head nope. occasionally or is it all just the same to you? Nope. Uh, it's, it's mostly what it's been is it's just been the occasional song here and there that I've just either I've just kind of liked the background beat to that I've then gone and liked and added to whatever Fair. light songs like some the people are like thing. that with foreign music since they can't understand it like oh the beat's cool that, that's just how I am with most music if I'm gonna be honest that's how I am <laughs> so, no, it's it's very definitely an ADHD thing, ADHD thing. Believe it or not, it's very interesting. It's more often uh, I oh, just I'm like leader? the song because okay. the beat I made cool you leader. Than it's, than Bro, that's why I like that's why I like song. AD audio so much. <laughs> Fucking having that shit move around is so nice. But I mean, it is what it is. Everybody has their own thing. <laughs> I can't well, wait until like, you get to J Hope's album, cause that shit I think you'll like the beat too. How far? How far away is that? Oh lord. Um, let me go check the. Thing. Uh, I, I, cause it I'm shouldn't be much further. It should be one album away. So you said you're on Steve Aoki. Can I just? Can I just say real quick? I have to start this and into completely, it completely, completely random. The uh, mask that they gave Reaper for this Imperial Guard skin kind of looks like a Dragon Priest mask from Skyrim. Uh, so you have the rest of the next album, which is the Love album. Okay, so I'm, I'm two albums good. away. And then, and then you got the next album, then you got RM's album, the album after that, and then you should have J-Hope stuff. It, it's Ooh. literally like a six song album. About to skip two songs, alright, because apparently... The Wasted On Me song is a song that I already liked on Spotify from having listened to it before earlier in the playlist. <laughs> because they put the art beside it again, which means that I'm not listening to it for a third time and it will be skipped. <laughs> so oh, that's one less song to listen to. to. You're skipping to Euphoria you're, then? Yeah, that's exactly where we're going. You'll like this album, I, I guarantee it 100%. We're, we're are you, are you joining Euphoria. us this time, Jamar? Uh... What? Since I'm not kicking you out of it this time? Um, I would, but I'm kind of mid game on Call of Duty on the Xbox, so <laughs> I would be having to unfairly ask you to wait for me for this to finish to then switch over. Ooh, or I you just, just join whenever out. you're ready. That is also an accurate uh, description. I guess I could do it that way. I guess we'll do it that way. I'll, um, I'll come join us in the So disability. you listening to the um, album right now? No, because I can't actually hear it over Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty is one of those games I would not be able to hear it over the constant fire of bullets. So I'm oh, Maddie, waiting. Maddie just said sexiest thing about me is the grooves in the side of my head from wearing glasses every day since the second grade. Says permanent Ooh. indentations in the side of my head? Sexy. <laughs> Daddy, no. Another cool thing that I saw today for Overwatch 2 is that they went to a firing range in different places to get different sounds for the guns. So you actually get like the echo for different like things, like if you're in a small room or if you're out in the open and like what the I actual don't... guns sound okay. like. Okay, 
I will genuinely say, if they just gave all of the guns different sounds, I'd be fine. It would be perfectly fine. Having the, the caliber of bullet match the way the guns look, also great. I don't need to know if it was shot outside or inside. I have permanent <laughs> tinnitus from the way gunshots sound in person, because I didn't well, bring earplugs. Well, what I'm saying is they were trying to give it as accurate of what the guns are supposed to sound like. Right. But wh what I'm saying is they just if they just gave me a general, this is actually what a heavy-duty handgun sounds like revolver. This is what a handgun sounds like. This is what an automatic handgun sounds like. Versus, this is what a muzzle loader sounds like. This is what a semi-automatic rifle sounds like. This is what a fully automatic rifle sounds like, you know? Like, if yeah, they just gave me those, that would be fine. I don't need to know what that. their exact- No. <laughs> I don't need to know the exact caliber of the weapon and what it is by the way they decided to do the audio. Because I will be able to know on a lot of things. Uh, also... Uh, <laughs> I, my, I now have day, night cycles, and weather cycles. Ew. I'm not down for having weather cycles, because they're gonna add rain and snow, because they have a Toronto map. Ew. A guess who's not, is guess who's not gonna be able to see any- Having to play in the snow? Ew. Yeah, having to play in something that's going to be slightly blue-coated, like rain or snow, or things that are yellow-coated, like Temple of Anubis. I'm not going to be able to play on those maps. I'm excited for their, um... Well, I'm excited for Push, because I really like that. And then... I'm excited for Free They to play. featured... They showed off bits of three maps today. So, the one in Sweden for Torbjörn, they designed the workshop at the height of Torbjörn. So there's like step ladders everywhere because he's so tiny. Oh. Oh, he was so cute. I was just like, oh my god, this workshop is just tiny Torb made. Would expect that to be the case, but yeah. Uh, the New York map looks like a push map, but it's like 1920s New York. There's a New York map now? Oh, shit. Um, and then they shut off some of the Toronto map, but we already saw that prior. And then there's a Rome map, which looks really pretty. Why would they be giving us a Rome map? I overdosed on that weed earlier. I, like, dosed too high first uh, the before adding on to it. They, the reason they're giving us a Rome map is because they want the feel of everybody uh, feeling like they're able to travel the world as an Overwatch hero. Right, but every map they've given us so far have been explicitly tied to certain characters. Who does Rome even tie into? Well, what does New York tie into? Exactly, that's what I'm getting at. What? Why are these things there? Why are we going there? What would Toronto tie into? Wait, am I missing something? Far's dad is from Toronto. Well, and they said they're going to try to give us more lore with this story stuff. Right, Everybody's that's what I'm getting at. But if, if you're telling me that they're going to New York and they're going to Rome, I don't need- I know why they're going to Toronto. That makes sense. They have not introduced us to Farah's father yet. Well, Toronto makes sense. Well, supposed to give us, like, six new heroes at launch date. Right. And that's what I'm getting at. Why are they teasing Rome and New York- if we're not getting heroes from there. Maybe like, we the, are. that would exactly mean that we would have to be getting for all of the new maps that we can't obviously tie to someone. We're getting new heroes to go with those maps. Uh, they gave us a look at the India map for Zenyatta, for the um, PDE stuff. Nice. It was actually really pretty. I was impressed. I just don't appreciate that Genji has not had his own specific map yet. Oh my god, they hinted at Genji today. No! You wanna know why? You wanna know why they keep um, going about on about Genji? 
Why? Because Michael Chu wrote it as if he was writing it for his wife in Genji's point of view. Oh god. That's why it's like that. That's why it's terrible. They they were like and because they were explaining the voice lines for all the PBE, every character is going to have something and it's always going to be tied into the story and th there's going to be different versions of each mission and how it's going to work. And then, uh, then they were like, yeah, you'll get to learn more relationships between people, including Genji and Mercy. Like, why did they said it in such a way that I was like, why would you do that? Why would you do that if it's not going to be canon? Where the fuck did they all go? Box special offer. What is they all gonna fucking it? die. Uh, it's not a special offer. It's trying to get you to buy shit. Ooh, my loot box is You've been yeah. able to for like the last like four years. Oh, mm. Give it instant connect again. Yes, I'm the Ana up here, nading you all. They below us. Sounds like it. No. Nobody found there. I can see the stream preview from the PlayStation. He's dead. He's dead. I'm having to reload, Zari. I'm trying. Please stop moving, Reinhardt. Oh no, what is my turret shooting at? It was shooting at Ryan Tracer. Well, I was trying to move it because, like, I'm trying to make sure. But I like get the damage off, you know? I put it in a spot where it's difficult for them to shoot it. Unless they peek the corner and then they're gonna get fucked. Oh, don't open that. Please don't open that. What? Do that to me, please. Ooh. What are you talking about, Jamar? I thought my desktop was about to do something sketchy that I was gonna regret. <laughs> Why? It, it, it didn't. <clears throat> so, I'm one of those people who hit all of the desktop icons and then I installed nice wallpapers and other things because I'm a certified power user that's unnecessary and so all of my programs are like icons on the taskbar and they're all really small and close together so I thought it was gonna try and say that I clicked on the wrong program but it didn't Yeesh. oh I was healing you I'm sorry I was trying to get away. Um, what else, Jamar, do I need to share from the BlizzCon thing today? Uh, Matt was at the panel for voice actors. It was really cute. Of course, uh, Matt was at the Sh panel for voice Charlotte actors. Charlotte Chung was there, Darren DePaul, the guy who voices uh, Soldier, and then the girl who does Echo. Ryan didn't put his shield up! Ryan got me killed there. Okay, I'm about to save the point. Ah. Uh, I feel like I need, like, have more to share with you, Jamar. But I feel like my brain is gone. You know, but you don't. All good. Oh. 
she missed. Something. You like how I punched that Reinhardt to death? That poor Ryan, he was not expecting it. Uh, I have another ult <laughs> <laughs> The Tracer got fucked. They don't have time. They don't have access to the point. Their tracer died bug. late and their Genji didn't dash in. They don't have a Genji, they a junk rat. Was that a junk? Why didn't he yeah. mine in? This is stupid. Don't watch this, this is bad. This is horrible. You die I here. To kill the, I tried to kill the tracer like a dumbass. I got pushed over here and I was like, I'll just try to kill you, and then I failed miserably. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um... They have... So they evolved, you know how they showed us the last BlizzCon, the, um, for the PvE, the, uh, movement quirks and, like, abilities that you can gain from leveling up your hero? I didn't hear a word of what you said. I have never tuned into BlizzCon. <laughs> okay, I must have just spoke gibberish. Um, no, my, I only heard half of what you said. I was so doing I something else. <laughs> what I said is, you know how for the PBE section they showed last BlizzCon for Overwatch 2 that you can level up your hero and it's like a skill tree type thing? Right. Uh, they showed more looks of it today. They, uh, so the skill tree looks like a Borderlands thing mm -hmm. where it's three different skill trees but you can pick from each, all three. Yeah. But it's also like Destiny 1, where you can have, like, like pick and choose your unlocks to build a specific build. So it unlocks all of them and you can change them as you go? Yes. Oh, okay. You don't have I'm to like, pick one tree, but the tree's like, shape looks like the Borderlands one. Right. Where it's up and down. Right. But if it's like Borderlands, you have to unlock down to get to what you want. And once you unlock those are they only per point you use on each section no so once you get down to the bottom to what you want to unlock everything on all three trees is unlocked so it's pick and choose okay and so like destiny one once you unlock it you can you can pick it which I think is a plus, because for people who like to make builds and, yes, like, I'm gonna use, I'm trying to reduce stuff, the, here, but it really the works term good. is min-max. Which sounds right up your alley. It's because min-maxing is what I do. Min-maxing is one of my favorite things to do in build games. Because if you're efficient, you don't usually have to deal with things. Um, have you picked up more of those as you get older, or have you refined? Have, do you have lots of those things that you positively have to do at different times? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, sorry, did I screw that up? Um, I couldn't hear you. Sorry about that. Oh, he's adorable! Well, oh, that's adorable! Sid did an interview today because tomorrow's his 1,000th game played in the NHL and also his 1,000th game played for the Pittsburgh Penguins, which will be the first in Penguins history. And the interviewer is asking Sid,
Sydney a question? And he's sitting there on the couch, absolutely ignoring the reporter's question because Gino's in the background making him giggle. Oh no, okay. <laughs> and it's just cute because Sid's trying so hard not to smile as he's saying it's Gino messing around in the background and that he didn't hear the reporter. And like, I know what Gino sounds like. I watch all of his fucking interviews. So like, even though it's hella quiet in the background, I can still hear Gino saying stuff and Sid giggling. And I'm just Does like, this is like? so cute. No. What's oh. The There's no Friday Night Read. I'm an old guy with a few saying all that stuff. Friday Night Marbles. Oh. <laughs> My team left and I almost won a sweatshirt. Congratulations, almost? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you, too. Aww. Why didn't you win that sweatshirt? Because <laughs> I being an act. No, she fucking jinxed herself is what happened. So we were only doing really well when we weren't paying attention to stream. I got those I two placements. So, hard. so Amanda... They say something, and Amanda looks at it, and she goes from being in first place to dead last. Oh, she no, goes, She goes back to Twitter. She goes back to Twitter, and then she, like, gets anxious, and it, like, has to check chat or something, and sees it, and then the very next thing that happens is she fucking DNF. She just knocks off the map, doesn't complete it. Oh, I man. turned around in my chair when I DNF. Why, Amanda? Why? It's not my intention. I wanted, I wanted to try to get something. <laughs> Did you DNF all night? She won two games. I was basically like, I was finishing races, but like nowhere near the top. Hey, yeah, I was always like at forty, or like I'll come in like after the top ten, and like twelve or thirteen. But I was like, what the fuck. This game is not like that stupid game y'all were playing when it came out, right? What stupid game? The little, the one with the little stupid people. <laughs> He's talking about Fall Guys. Fall Guys? There you go. No, we're what? actually- Do you know what marble racing is? I have no idea. Okay, so just do me a solid favor. Do me a uh -huh. favor and go on YouTube and just type in marble racing. Why is that the first thing that comes up? <laughs> Because it's popular right now. This game, I had never seen it before until Raven was like, You want to play Marbles? And apparently, it is a really talked about topic on Twitch, so it must have gotten big recently. So, the sad thing is, is it did get <laughs> did get popular recently. But it's been a thing, like, for a long time. Like, you, I like watching Marble Races in Sand, which is usually the medium for it. But online Marble Races... It gives you so much more room to talk and do stuff. And, like, I understand why some of those maps are really long. You have a low DNF rate and a super long race. Somebody's going to stick around for the whole race just talking with you. Hold on. Are you... Oh, th you're an actual marble. Yeah. yeah. So you're... <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you, play you command play. Yeah, you command play and choose your skin. And then you go. And the mar it just goes. And then and in Pete's Friday stream... Night marbles and Pete's. Yeah, so Pete does Friday Night Marbles, and he's been doing this for roughly, like, two, three months now. Something like that. Well, he made merch for it, finally. Oh, okay. So he has a... You are a um, Friday Night Marbles stream participant. Or if you win the final, like, match, you win the... You're a Friday Night Marvels stream champion as a red shirt instead of a black shirt, and it says champion instead of participant. Oh. And literally, he just got the merchant today, so he was doing it, and it's like five races per Grand Prix, and then the top three finalists in the Grand Prix get to go into a final bracket, and it's five Grand Prix to a final bracket to see who wins the sweatshirt. <laughs> And then anyone left in chat basically afterwards gets two participation hoodies. So it's basically first, second, third, but they're not all like doable that way. Gotcha. This is Paris. <laughs> it took us so long to find a match, I kinda don't wanna leave. Okay. They took Anna! <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what 
do I play? Um, what the fuck is do I play on this map? Do I just continue to be toxic as Torbjorn? Do I do I do I Zenyatta? Cause she's Anna and we're running double shield. That doesn't sound like enough healing. <laughs> to Mars, like that's not enough healing. I'll go soldier. Well, I hadn't chosen anything yet. I'll go Sombra. Hey, where are you at? You said what? Oh, hack the health pack so you guys can get help. Um, are you gonna go still go get Donita? Yeah, I'm gonna go get her. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> What's good? Uh, okay. Stay with the All other right. way. Bye. Good. Okay. okay. Y'all have, have fun. Y'all should have healing now. I couldn't get a ride. Uh, if Uber takes me, yeah. Okay. I'm dead. There's a health pack right there, Raven. It's 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 hack for you. I'm on it. Uh. So two forty fives is ninety, two twenty fives that's another fifty. Okay, so 150 a, That's 50! I got okay. ass. Okay. And so what, 150 would... That's 150, Gabriel. That's not a bunch. Anna won't okay. drop down okay. off of high ground, so she's literally not healing anyone. Well, okay. Ryan won't come back. Yeah, but if she's at least down at the choke and on the ground, she can move where she needs to while also being somewhere where she can fucking see the Rhine. Gabriel, you're a whole, what, 100 pounds soaking wet. Is he complaining about his weight? Uh, next time I go, we'll do more arm stuff. You destroyed my tele or translocator. Uh, okay, bye, children. I got ashed out of the farm. God, y'all so gay. <laughs> what happened, Mike? They were they were looking at each other's bodies in the car, and I they got gave him, out of my old got freaked car. out at the gym because he said he saw some big dude and he was bench pressing more than Gabriel Wade. So he saw Steve at the gym. Oh okay. no, he saw somebody. He saw somebody as tall as me and as big as me, but actual muscle. Oh. Yeah, he's Was like, he complaining that you weren't there yet? I'm not going to the gym tonight. Wait, so he no, freaked like out because you were uh, buff enough yet. Like, was he complaining no, about he that? he was complaining because he said that guy freaked him out because Gabriel can barely do the bar. <laughs> wait, you're telling me, wait, the, sh the soft bar or the actual heavy one? The heavy one, and he has two tons on it. That means. Some bars are it. heavier than others. It's a heavy bar. Yeah, but, but like, I don't know skin lingo, so I don't know what the bar is. Oh wait, how much is he actually lifting? So, he's lifting 10 plus the bar. Oh, I tried so, saving you guys. 35? The bar was 45. <laughs> <laughs> he got it off as I hacked him. He's 45, a... uh, 45, so he's lifting 65. Yeah. Okay. So there's a thir there's a 35 bar and there's a 45 bar, which is the that standard. Bar is, that bar is 35 at Planet Fitness, people. 
Okay, so then it's not okay. That's fair. I'm like, there are 35 bars. Yes. How many reps the one of Planet Fitness is, is is 35 guaranteed. How many reps is he trying to do? So he's only he's doing 55 pounds. Yes. How many reps? Wait a minute. He he's doing he's doing. I actually eight don't reps. know how much I can lift. Eight reps. Okay. I mean, I'm maxed out at 350, but I'm a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. <laughs> Fuck Torbjorn. Bro, that's a little I'm bit sorry, I was up. trying to keep it. No, it's fine. He shot me and then his turret finished me off. I'm Okay, so like Steve can lift a lot because Steve is strong. I can lift a lot because I'm big. Uh, I feel like I'm, just because I'm heavy in weight doesn't mean I can lift a lot because I'm a limp noodle in my arms. I'm not. My I'm top heavy. I'm not. So like, I like lifting. I like doing the preacher curls. I like doing bench presses. I like doing the preacher the... curls. Yes. What does that mean? It's like it's bicep exercise. workouts. So you put your arms and like you bend them towards you. While you're bending them towards you, you also have weights on them. And at the, uh... Um. Put so, them against the bench. ever and since I was lift, little, lift I've never weight. been able to like lift myself up on like one of those, like you know, pull-up pull bars. Up? I cannot do a pull-up and I cannot do a push-up. Do you want to know why? A... Because my tits are as huge as my fucking. Because no, because our because our shoulders in general are already. Fucked. I was about to say okay, pull-up is so hard for me. Pull-ups are ha pull-ups are hard for most people because they don't teach you how to actually like there's no incentive well, I to stay in school not being able to and pull-ups are more than just strength that's like a whole body core yeah it's core and uh, upper body strength yeah like i have the upper body strength i have no core oh, which, which i found guys, out the, the other sigma day behind we you when i've been I trying to core. hack him but he keeps hitting me I've been Tomorrow, trying to deal on, with the fucking Reaper. I was on a machine the other day, and I didn't know what it was because I never work out my core like that. Uh, and wait, my what, muscles what that I don't have... What were you doing? Was it a uh, squat rack? Yeah, uh, it was a squat rack. The one wait, that looks like an accordion and just squishes yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. My... Oh, yes. And so, muscles yeah, that I don't pass? have... Oh, no. My... <laughs> muscles I don't <laughs> have were hurting me violently. <laughs> So Got like it was it was hurting to breathe room. and laugh, and I was like, "This is." Our this Anna is likes shouting, "I need healing!" at me while I'm dead. <sighs> so yeah, that was one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. Recently, I was like, "What machine did you get on?" Mike's like the one that squishes you on, like the leg press. <laughs> no, the leg press is easy. I'm, okay, I'm all upper body, but leg press is easy because I, it's my legs not are upper huge. body. It's not upper body. <laughs> But my legs are huge, so it's it's just kind of what I'm doing. I feel like going to the gym with Mike and Steve would be fun. It it is because Steve always puts it down like, oh, you can't do this. Never mind. You you have a quite more weight than I do. Let's do what I'm doing then. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's normally used to going to the gym well, why with somebody. Did he, hammer down nothing? he wasted that hammer. Bigger than that. Hey, don't be bad. I a solo hammer down shattered. He and, didn't uh, get anything. Oh damn. He I was about to say up... McCree was kicking my ass earlier. And I solo shattered and got nanoed oh <laughs> McCree in the fucking corner. I was like, Yep, you die bitch. Oh god. I messaged him after the game, I say, Good Good triple you got while I wasn't there because I'm Reinhardt. Don't worry, we won. Wait, is this, is this album really this long? Ah. Hey, Jamar. Mm hmm. Did you know Reinhardt's gonna have two fire strikes? Why? Why? I'll be able to stop his charge. And oh he's gonna God. be able to snipe. Yeah. You, and he's gonna Wait, be able what? to snipe you with his charge across map. What, what kind of nonsense? What? Man, they said Reinhardt doesn't have enough buffs. Don't worry, Roadhog's getting area effect healing. Wait, no, he's the, not. The what, tanks are getting the something the that- Oh, the healers, Raven. They're working on passives for all the players. The healers, if you don't take damage long enough, will slowly start to regenerate health. Yay, okay. we get passives! We get Zenyatta's passive! 
So, so to be fair, Roadhog is getting the passive healing everybody while he's being healed, only in PvE, though. Right, only in PvE, I, but right. in PvP... Oh, the, no. the no, passes that's, that's... for PvP are the slow healing, the tanks... Yeah, uh, so a... we're getting Mercy's regen, but it's probably yep. for each hero going to be a different length of time. The DPS run faster, their movement speed is boost. Uh, the tanks have something, I think it's like a knockback thing. No, more, less knockback. Yeah, it's like steadfast, it's Reinhardt's steadfast. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. will be right back. Oh, Entertain stream. Cancel? Oh, soldier's getting something too, Jamar. Oh, okay. I'll he's getting a sound buff. Then, but that's he's getting no, a all sound of them buff. Are getting sound buffs, but yeah, but soldier, soldier is gonna sound beautiful. I just need them to remove the recoil. And we'll, we'll nope, good. they added more recoil. God damn it. Okay, so they didn't add more recoil. They made it to where it feels like you're actually controlling the gun, so it looks different on screen. Yeah, so it looks like he's about to jump out of your hand, Jamar. So like when I go to the gun range, okay. Wait, you go to the gun range? <laughs> no. I didn't know you went. Take me next time. <laughs> do you really want to go I've only to been the gun twice. Range? Yeah, I've only been twice. What would we do at the gun range? <laughs> shoot? All I'm gonna do is go shoot all the weapons I shoot with in Call of Duty. And then probably oh. scare Mike and the guy, the gun instructor. I mean, last time I went, I did a combat bow and two handguns. And then I show up, and, and I show up if I'm. But if you go with a police or a military person, you get a whole more load of weapons. What's going on? Uh, Jamar and I are gonna go to the gun range in a, probably a few weeks. So excited! Oh, you should have said something while you were here. We would have gone with all of our stuff. Damn, wanna, Jamar! Why I did you say that? <laughs> I want yeah. to shoot a gun. Oh, I never want to be near a shotgun again because that thing, I didn't even shoot it. That thing shook my bones. Oh, yeah, watching that Mike, you realize there's a loaded shotgun like within 50 feet of where you were sleeping, right? Nope, had no idea. Yeah, no, that's in the house. Don't call your, one of your snakes a loaded shotgun. They're dangerous, but I don't you think know they're what? shotguns. You know what? <laughs> I'm sure the 36 bar uh, inch barrel on that 12 gauge is gonna scare the fuck out of anyone who comes upstairs who's not supposed Probably. to be in the fucking house. Probably, you know, it, most guns scare most people unless, you know. He's gonna put a hole yeah. in a wall and not just scare the fuck out of somebody. No, <laughs> Honey, with a 36 long, inch long barrel, I'm not gonna miss, I just gotta point it in his direction. But, Chill it's gonna something. put, it's gonna put a whole fair. bunch of holes in him, the wall, and the wall across the street. Yeah, where they are. Yes, Jamar. That's that's like a building that sounds, record. That sounds accurate. <sighs> like all of these. Oh, it, this bullet got lodged in this really soft drywall in this residential area. No, it didn't, honey. It went three walls in. Oh, I will be right back. Oh boy. Yeah. Why did you cancel Q, by the way? Cause you, I didn't know how long you would be. We have a DPS in our queue. Technically two. Yeah. Why would Last you think it- Last time I said that, it instituted us. Okay, well I'm going downstairs to go get a drink. Cause the two drinks that I brought upstairs and put in my cooler, I've already drank. And I need ice because I am actually like feel like I'm overheating right now but that's because i'm woozy from the edible <laughs> quick when you don't have depth perception and you're high as shit you probably shouldn't walk down to like stairs <laughs> especially not with a glass cup in your hand i'll just turn the light on next time it's fine wait you're walking around in the dark yeah Oh, Why not? Need to see you're impaired. Yes, that's the <laughs> that's the only reason it's not safe. It's because I'm impaired. <laughs> I can run up and down those stairs in the middle of the night. Ask Amanda. <laughs> I cannot. I will probably be falling down there. And that's sober. 
think most people would be falling down them, but that's okay. Jamar, I walk up and down these stairs close to 15, 16 times a day. The reason why Amanda struggles with my stairs is because her stairs go just straight up and down. Like, it's one... Okay, I have problems going down my stairs, but I mainly have issues going upstairs because, like, I'm <laughs> slow as fuck. Meanwhile, mine's an L, so if you don't know where you're going, it tries to murder you. Uh -huh. Is there L at the beginning or at the end? It's an L. What do you mean, is it at the beginning or at the end? So, your average L, there's one side that's longer than the other. Uh, the short side is technically the, like, first going up the stairs. The very beginning. Okay. But it's only barely, because we have three steps on the- well, mm -hmm. okay, so we have- we have 14 steps total. But we have three okay. of our steps are like, we call them the landing. Because it's oh, no. three- yeah, it's three steps <laughs> that do the L bracket, like the turn. And they're larger oh. than others. They're larger than all the other steps. Makes sense. So it fucks people up. But if you fall down the t first half of the steps, you're only falling falling so far to the tile. If you do it from the top, you're gonna hit a wall instead of hitting tile. Because oh, you'll bounce off that wall instead. Ask Shaylin. Shaylin knows. Uh, Shaylin has that's been acquainted. Painful. She has been acquainted with that wall several times. She's become well acquainted with the the wall of doom. Don't fall down the stairs, and you won't be well acquainted with the fucking wall. You're I told her. Than me. I told her that, and she she was like, "I can't control it." Well, if we when had you stairs... fall, you can't control it. Your whole body just goes. If we had stairs in our house, I'd Does put Jamar a sign know at the, the time of the I fell down my own stairs? The stairs. Do not. So Jamar, Jamar, my senior year of high school, one day I I had gotten up on like the weekend before our school, and I was just so like dizzy, like I was just tired and dizzy, and then I passed out at the top of my stairs because I like leaned on the railing, like the top part of my stairs to like try to balance myself. And I'd pass mm -hmm. out and I flipped and I fell down my stairs <laughs> and I woke up at the bottom of the stairs. No one hurt me. No one cared. No one believed me. But I had like rug burn down my back. This is recent? No. You had proof Senior that it happened. Senior high school, 2016. And then I came to school and I was like, Raven, I fell down my stairs. And she's like, what? And then I was like, yeah, just look at my back. And she opened my shirt and she's like, oh my god, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> but like I fell down my stairs. That rug burn was really bad. Thing. I can only imagine. I didn't feel a thing because I was passed the fuck out for probably anem anemic stuff. Probably. But it was interesting. I've sprained my ankle falling down my stairs. I've broken my ankle playing football. Look at you. I and felt on like... And then my mother didn't believe me. And so I had to walk on my auto to go get the car on a broken ankle. And then she said, why aren't we going home? I said, I'm going to the hospital. My ankle's broken. She said, no it isn't. I said, mother, my ankle is broken. I'm going to the hospital. She's like, what's taking you so long with x-rays? I said, they're checking to make sure my ankle is broken. Miss Harper, your son's ankle is broken in four different places. <laughs> That's tragic. <sighs> um, yeah, no, I fell down like four of the stairs and tried to stop myself and I like twisted my ankle, so... I uh, was playing contactless football in a backyard. Um, they had groundhogs back there and so my foot oh went my into... god. <laughs> A massive ditch, and I made a route and hurt my ankle. I heard a snap, and I said, I'm ready to go because I need to go to the hospital. My mother, 
one not not wanting to go and two not wanting to go get the car um so yeah that was a the funny day one. i break a bone is the day that i i won't know what to do with myself broken my wrists my hand uh, fractured two ribs and broke two ribs. Um, life goes on. Is the whole team left and then another team joined? <laughs> I saw that. Look, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. There's a junk rat. No, a Lucio in the bush. Look, why isn't this moving? Is this a free push? It is, because there's nothing there yet. Jamar the Hondo Pop. He's randomly throwing arrows. I'm streaming. Do not let me die to the Hanzo. Off stream Hanzos don't count. On stream Hanzos do count. Do not let me die to the Hanzo. Well. I think he was dead. I can still hear him. Oh, I see a Lucio. Oh no, he hit me. <laughs> Does this diva have a personal vengeance against me? Like, what's up? <laughs> you Bob? I don't have Bob yet. I didn't die to the Hanzo, it's fine. Use Bob next round. <laughs> that was scary. I got rezzed. <laughs> the jump red bomb flying towards my face. Junkrat. He's dead. Oh no! I died to a diva. Oh, thank you, Mercy. What are you gonna do? You no longer have a, uh... <laughs> you, you shouldn't have used that. He had just beat, though. And I killed the junk rat with Visor! It. Visor! I'm talking about Visor! Like, what okay, the fuck did why? I do? <laughs> did you get anything with it after we had just I double got, ulted? I got three kills. Killed the diva, the junk rat, and something else, and then junk rat ulted when he respawned. I died to it. Did I not I get time to Visor? Wait. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm doing really bad. Okay. I appreciate the feedback. <laughs> I, I visored there because I had it, and the diva had just got popped out of Mac, and the his boot just ended. So I was like, I guess it was. I thought it was a good time. And you learn. Of course, Zarya bubbles right in front of the Hanzo that I'm trying to kill. <laughs> You're giggling about Mike. Uh, TikToks. Fucking. <laughs> I used a new favorite pastime. I like it. <laughs> this the lady's like, bro, you sent you sent uh Ruth two cakes.
and a blue for her birthday. She said, he, she's like, what are you? He's like, what are you talking about? Two cakes and a, and a blue. He was like, those are emojis, oh, honey. No, you just sent them to her. Is she special to you or something? That's my cousin. But two cakes and a blue. <laughs> You're like, why are these uh, green? So, did you catch up on WandaVision? Yeah, I, I'm all done. I watched it today, too. Well, I've been trying to keep up with it through, um... Duzzfeed <sighs> posts, because oh, I don't actually, uh... So good. Us, so. so friggin' good. Uh, I'm, I'm just... I, I, I love that they... <laughs> Quote-unquote... Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm not gonna spoil anything for anyone. I but died no. to the Hanzo I... behind Who's because. Who's gonna spoil? I don't Me and know. Raven don't have Disney Plus. I mean, I do. I just don't care. See? And Jamar? Jamar oh. might be trying to catch up with pull things for me all the time. This is nothing new. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 so, they brought the, so they brought the X Men Pietro instead of the Pietro am, who actually I know. died. And it's, Correct. And it's just amazing. But now they <gasps> revealed the big bad, who everybody knew was the big bad. Because they were yeah, like, no, it's Wanda's. In the comics. You like Wanda? They're like, Wanda's turning evil. I was like, Wanda's not turning evil. Everybody knows who's <laughs> turning her evil. We know what's going on. And then Rambo got her powers. Um, I'm <laughs> so excited. Oh my god. I love her. Oh, oh no. Oh yes. And the kids are like, what's going on? Vision's like, I'm done with all this bullshit. Cause y'all fucking around with my brain. I don't know what's going on. No one's told me why I died. And 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 who the fuck is Pietro? <laughs> <laughs> because if he calls me a red bucket, a red machine one more time, I'm about to blast his motherfucking fat ass mm. right now. I was like, oh, oh, don't do it, bitch. I was like, we we just we just mad at everybody. They turned all the the FBI agents into clowns. Everybody's a clown. You're like, oh, what? But you realize what? Do you realize what the issue is with them having Evan Peters, Peter, instead of having Pietro? You know what the problem is? I, do, I don't. What is it? Because what, Darcy said, what? "Oh my god." What? Because Darcy was like, you, oh "What my god. year does the X Men series with that Quicksilver take place?" Oh fuck it! I don't know. X-Men with all the time traveling continuities, I don't fucking It's the it. 70s. Okay. When is Before... WandaVision, when is WandaVision supposed to be taking place? In the 70s. Mm-mm. 80s? It's so, in her head. It's, yeah, the oh, shows so... are in her head, but in its current, after the Thanos stuff, after Infinity War, so it's like 2020-something. 20, 20 so you're telling me that Pietro is 40 years old, and we've aged Wanda 20 more years. Oh. And mm -hmm. Pietro? No, that's not Quicksilver. And the one reason why I say that is because while Quicksilver in the comics from the X-Men had a younger sister called the Scarlet Witch, he never had a twin. The problem no, with them merging everything is that where were all the reports back in World War One and Two of mutants? Because how old is Magneto? What is he? What what what's Magneto? Are we talking about now? Both of them. <laughs> they are both. Holocaust survivors. That is him in the comics. That is where he started. Right. No, I I got you. But you're so telling me kid, you're telling me that by logic of the MCU, everything is happening at the same time. That Captain America didn't hear that there were mutants. Oh, he definitely did. They've never told he, us. He's he had, had to never have. he has never seen a mutant. Until Wanda and Pietro in Ultron. No way, really? They, he talks about it in Age of Ultron. That's the story they give us, Mike. 
<sighs> they tell you that Scarlet Witch, the one we know, Wanda, was uh -huh. made. She was made. I remember. So that. you're telling me that all of these mutants, they're going to tell us they were all made, and that Magneto did not just have his powers. That a Nazi camp gave those powers to a young Jewish boy. No, they're he not. Had his they're, they're, they have so many inconsistencies with how that's going to work. I am so mad that they decided are to do this. Are these comics inconsistent, or are the shows just inconsistent? The comics are not. The shows are on both sides. Because the comics, in their own worlds, give definitive reasons why people are are like why they are. In the shows, they do not give enough background information to tell you why now the X-Men will be in this world with two Quicksilvers, who aren't qu both Quicksilvers, and Wanda is already messed up, but Wanda is one version Magneto's daughter, the other version not. But they're now all going to be squished into one universe. Yep. <sighs> and now that which brings me like... brings me to my next problem. <laughs> What's the? They don't own the Fantastic Four. They do not. So they do not own so... the Fantastic. <laughs> They miss out on so many more villains, even just missing the Fantastic Four, who aren't very big. Because the Fantastic Four's villains are notoriously X-Men villains. Yep. The main problem I'm going to have is they already killed off Logan. They did that. That happened in uh, Logan. But I heard is he's going to be recast and brought back. Right. For, for, and he's going to be thrown into the Spider Verse. How did? How do they? Correct. Re, how do they re? Uh... They're going to have issues. They're going to have issues recasting everyone. Because that's the because... one good thing about the Spider Man universe right now is that we have not had a consistent Spider Man. That well, they can they... just keep casting it. They have been oh, casting yeah. Hugh Jackman as fucking Wolverine. Since basically the nineties. Because because there's a rumor going around that um Oh Keanu Reeves wants to play Wolverine. Keanu Reeves is not a good Wolverine. Hugh Jackman you wanna know why? Just as old. No, Hugh Jackman doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, Hugh Jackman literally retired. He doesn't want to do Wolverine. He said he's done. But if but they add in not. Wolverine, and Wolverine has to interact with Spider-Man, we're going to have to have the conversation of, yes, technically you got your your powers from a radioactive spider. Technically, you also didn't. <laughs> There's not going to be any consistency. Like, you're bringing, no offense they, to the uh... X-Men universe. No, you're no, that is literally, that is literally the consistency of that. Wolverine does not like Spider-Man because he's not a born mutant, but he has the mutant gene. Prof Professor Charles Xavier found that out. Him and Beast, no Spider-Man has the mutant gene. It was just activated by the stress response from getting bit by the radioactive spider. All so, I want is uh, the Spider-Man <laughs> Deadpool runoff. I, I want all of that. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will tell word. you. I will tell you why I don't want. Spidey oh. pool interactions. <laughs> first, let Spidey? me say this. Go, go, Amanda, what? before I go into I'm another I'm trying Amanda. to say this forever. Uh, the people have really liked Tom Holland, and he's going to be in this third Spider-Man movie, so I don't All think we're going to get a yes. of him. All of them will. That's oh. not what I'm talking about. All of the <laughs> last three Spider-Men are going to be in that movie. <laughs> They're all going to be in this Andrew movie. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are also Spider-Man in that movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what I was getting at. Uh, the reason why I don't want Spidey Pool with this iteration of Spider-Man is because it's creepy right now. I really like uh, hold, the Spidey hold, Pool shit. No, but, like, no, no, no. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. 
Spidey Pool Peak Comics is when Peter Parker is working for the news as a photographer in his mid-twenties. He is a college student. They'll just age up Tom Holland. Come on. So give us a you're time skip. Right, but you're going to have to have Deadpool, who cannot age at this point. Nope. Ryan Reynolds. We're going to have to have that. And people are going to realize with the time skip that technically Deadpool is aging. Because technically, now that they're bringing Deadpool in, they have to bring the Lady Death nonsense in. Oh, especially, God. especially if they're doing the Avengers and Captain Marvel. Stop. Stop. So Stop. now we have now we have Deadpool Lady 3. Death, right? So now we have the Lady Death and Domino and copycat nonsense oh already God, going Domino on. Domino was perfectly cast. I love that Domino. I love this Domino. But we have all of these interlocking pieces that we still have to pluck pieces out of. It's not even, like, the age inconsistency. I, that's just my reasoning of them, me not wanting them to introduce Deadpool. Raven, we have to keep up our consistency of seeing Deadpools and Peter together. <laughs> yes. We've seen the first two together. I will, to go see see De- I will go see Deadpool 3 with you in theaters when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, literally, I have taken Amanda to go see the first two Deadpools. I didn't even nice. know what it was beforehand. We went to watch it at the AMC. You didn't know what Deadpool was? I was a baby, brand new person to all this. The she was a, stuff she was a baby nerd. She didn't know anything yet. So the only oh, stuff I had known oh. is the stuff I grew up around, which was like Thor, Iron Man. I knew of the Hulk by adjacent. Uh, I knew of Spider-Man, but only Tobey Gu- Maguire's Spider-Man because, you know, Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield didn't exist when I was growing up. So like, I was a baby MCU person. Everything that Amanda likes, nerd-wise, is my fault for the most part. I want to take full credit for this. (laughs) She's like, I created a human being, but also a monster. Yeah, I created a monster (laughs) when it comes to the MCU. Um, I have questions for the consistency real quick, though. You ready? You're, yeah, I have a consistency error between the time Captain America the f- uh, the first soldier happened, like the end of it, and Captain Marvel. You ready? Sure. How does the Tesseract get to space? Uh, how does it get to space? Teleport. Yeah. Uh, Red Skull, right? Technically, we don't get shown what happens to Red Skull. And Red Skull wasn't the last person to have the Tesseract, because Howard okay. Stark pulled it out of the plane. Okay, so the Tess... <laughs> hold on. So, Red... No, no, hold on. Red Skull touched the Tesseract, and he gets sucked up, and he's now in... Uh, he's the guardian of yep. the Soul Stone now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, Howard Stark, after he gets uh, the Capsicle... Uh, you got the Tesla. <laughs> no, Howard Stark didn't have the capsicle. He had the Tesseract. Oh, he did have the Tesseract. He had the Tesseract supposedly, quote unquote, in safekeeping. Then the Tesseract. So, is how did they the- pull it out of the wall because Red Skull was looking for it? No, no, I'm not talking about after that. I'm talking about. <laughs> wall what? cap is a capsicle. Yeah, while he's a capsicle, the Tesseract ends up in space with with Captain Marvel, with Marvel. Uh, How? What happens in the comics? Nothing. There, there's not nothing. that interaction happens. That nothing happened in the comics. You just lost in the movies of how this thing got to space now. Maybe the cat? No, cuz the cat only goes to space because she takes it up there because it's not a real cat. It's a. Um... Oh, it's not a real cat. And he, I, and the I... cat eats the tesseract at the end of that movie, oh, in yeah. the after credit scene. So how did the tesseract get from Shield with Howard Stark to space, back to Earth to get eaten by a cat to end up maybe, in a wall where maybe Loki the can find it? Shield sent it to space to keep it safe. 
not knowing that there was a. But when uh, Loki goes looking for it, when Loki goes looking for it, it's in a locked box, where Shield it put is. it. Maybe they realized and took it out of space. Maybe. Because that makes sense for Shield that they would keep consistently moving it. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking how it was in space before Hard Howard Stark pulled it up out of the fucking ice. I, I don't know. Mike gets I what just, I'm yelling about right now. Yeah, I but know, I, my I, brain's I, trying to like wrap around it. Like it, it doesn't. Yeah, you just, can't. It doesn't. It can't. <laughs> this is why I don't like the MCU. There are reasons why I don't like the MCU, guys. There's inconsistencies with this, like. How? They're good. Okay, so they're good movies by themselves. The the connectivity between some of the films doesn't make any sense. Which is the problem like, when the entire series is based on how they connect with each other. And like, why would you? <laughs> He's a sleep why killer. Why would you introduce uh, Guardians of the Galaxy um, another member and you still haven't introduced him? Correct. Mm -mm. What, what was member? the other member? Adam Warlock. He has been introduced, technically, and he's still not introduced. But Who's Adam Warlock? You, you want to know why they? You want to know why they won't introduce Warlock though? He's too not broken. A... He's broken as fuck. Because he's he only... just because in the series just now he just got married to his boyfriend. Yes. That's why they won't add him. Oh, is that the one that <sighs> yes. everyone on? Umbler was yes. freaking out about? Remember when you were like, why is Guardians trending? And I told you Adam Warlock got Jewish married to his boyfriend at the time. Uh, yeah, I was like, who is this whole They already guy? introduced Adam Warlock in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Yes, they did. Yes. They and they did. won't actually introduce him because he just got married in the comics and it blew up. Because it's gay. Because he's gay. And, and because and, and Marvel's Nova now owned was, by Disney, and Nova which is was the most hinted at too. Nova was and Nova wasn't, and Nova hasn't been introduced yet, which I think is a load of malarkey. And how have you had all these Spider-Man movies? And and I'm and we are about to get to the Sinister Six, but we still haven't. All these Spider-Man movies. I think I think we're about to have four Spider-Man movies. Because he, Spider-Man: Homecoming, Spider-Man: Far, Far Away, and and something else. It was Far from Home, not Far, Far Away. I don't fucking <laughs> know, Raven. <laughs> well, technically, there was Far, Far Away. There was Infinity War. That's oh, not a Spider-Man movie. Mine is well a bit. <laughs> what? He's trying what? to be funny, and it's not working. How? What? what? Spider? Okay. You know what shouldn't have been a, a certain movie versus another? Uh, Ultron. Should have been an we, Avengers movie. It should have or shouldn't have? Wait, I'm confused. Between, between Ultron and Civil War, hmm? which one of those should, which one of those should have been a, a star, like an actual, like, Movie, one that we get consistently one character's point of view of, versus an Avengers movie. Asia Ultron was done so much better in the comics. And Age of Ultron another... should have been a fucking Iron Man movie. Aren't yeah. they creating another and movie? And Civil War should have been an Avengers movie. Right. Aren't, Tell me I'm wrong. Aren't they creating... Captain and something else, uh, the new movie. Oh, you you all are gonna love that if you all watch it. They're go they're hilarious. Oh my you god, the win to... fucking Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You know they have to go to a uh, couples counseling. They did. Wait, why? <laughs> they went to couples counseling. <laughs> they go to couples For the counseling. Movie or in the movie? In the movie. I in, mean, in the show. It's in the in show. The show that's coming up. They at couples counseling because they've been trying to kill each other. Because they, 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 they are together because of Captain America. Jamar, can but they, you please put up a puddle? Thank you. They cannot stand each other. Please, somebody deal with the Hanzo? I was working on it. 
Were you? Lucky headshot. <laughs> yeah, it's full powered, it's fully charged arrows or whatever. He needs to be in the face to over half my oath. But no, I, everything <laughs> everything that's about to happen in uh in the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm so excited for, and I'm I'm game. Well, I went after uh, at the Hanzo, and I fucking got killed. Why, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my question. goodness. He steals my kill! And then he lets me die! That was it? He lets me die right after that. That was it. I, I died a few times. What did you die to, Raven? More the Reaper that was right next to you. you were fine. Um. But yeah, no, if we want to talk about the inconsistencies of the MCU, just hit me up. I can do that all night. Are you going to fort now? No. Uh, how do I leave the party? Still... I'm going to go play something else. Oh, okay, then I'll just go to fort then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you already got the skin. I did. I'm literally looking at it. I just, Jamar was on, and I wanted to see how many wins we would get him. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> we got two before you got on. Oh, look at see, see, you guys did well. I don't know, my, my heart's just not in playing Overwatch.